for the video examples, unlike some other websites that I, we looked at as we were, we were building this, where they, especially in the early days of posting video examples, it seemed as if the developers had the notion that the, the video clip would speak for itself. You know, there's the video, and you're going to see in it what I, as the developer, see in it. And um, uh, I had enough experience with teachers looking at unedited video footage for the last almost 40 years now that I knew that wasn't the case. You can see anything you want to in a video clip. And, and, and one of the anxieties uh, that we had about presenting people's work to other teachers in a website is that you can navigate around from clip to clip and and read into that whatever you know you, inferences you want to uh, and unlike a documentary film where the editor puts together a kind of narrative portrayal that heavily constrains uh, the interpretations that the viewers uh, 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 take away from looking at the, uh, the documentary, um, the website is, is a much more open, you know, navigation experience and interpretation experience. And, and so we tried to, on one hand, take advantage of that, but not just let people wander around uh, with a bunch of indexed video clips without some scaffolding for them, interpretive scaffolding. And that took a long time to think through and write up. But one of the things that we came up with as an aid for people's moving from just moving toward real exploration into the how of complex practice rather than just being a tourist looking at the, the, the strange customs of, of these people who are teaching physics with little kids. Um, moving from tourism to deeper exploration uh, we think is facilitated here by some stop frame um, commentary that is built into the video clips. And, and so I'm going to show you uh, an example of uh, various examples. And the first time around, you get a naked video clip. And then you, you're asked to view it again. And there are stop buttons along the way with the freeze frame and a little, like a silent movie. Um, text that says, notice this about, you know, maybe didn't notice that the teacher was doing this. And, um, uh, uh, and then we took that one step further. That's, and and that, that's the really original part of this. And our, our, um, our um, instruction tutorial the built in at the beginning doesn't explain this because we came up with it after the tutorial had been built and we'd run out of money and we didn't so I just have to tell you and I'll, I'll show you how to find the next thing which is that that for subsequent viewings of the same clip if you wanted to view it over and over and over you can access commentary from all of the different components. We realized that every clip, if it's an ecosystem, every clip has everything in it. You know, a clip that is our best illustration of first-hand experiences for kids, uh, that had to have been planned. And so there's some, some commentary on planning that would illuminate your your repeated viewing, so you can you can go to experiences or representation, and and end up clicking on comments, on planning, on setup, on culture, uh, and and so on. And and as you do that, uh, you get deeper and deeper into kind of 
ways of paying attention to the information that there's there on the video clip. And also, you get influenced to view it the way we want you to view it, <laughs> instead of some uh, something else, you know. So often, um, in this kind of pedagogy, some teachers watch it initially, and they say, well, you know, the kids are making too much noise, or, you know, they're moving around the room too much, or something. And, and so to get past that, we built in these multiple viewings um, in the design.